Today was yet another big day in the ongoing Mueller investigation. And since this thing is not ending anytime soon, we figured we'd start keeping up with it in a new segment we call Mo Mueller, Mo Problems. <laughs> You know, the Mueller investigation is a lot like The Wire, yeah? It's got a long, winding plot, a huge list of shady characters, wiretaps, secret phone calls. It's got everything The Wire has except black people. <laughs> but every few days, we hear from one of the recurring characters, and today turned out to be a Michael Cohen episode. President Trump's former lawyer and fixer, Michael Cohen, dropping a bombshell in federal court, pleading guilty to lying to Congress about how much the president knew about a potential Trump Tower project in Russia during the campaign, out of loyalty to President Trump. While Cohen told Congress last fall that the Moscow project ended in January 2016, he now admits discussions about the project lasted as late as approximately June 2016. <laughs> when Trump was the presumptive Republican presidential nominee. That's right, former Trump lawyer and human EO, Michael Cohen, <laughs> is admitting that he lied to Congress about Trump's real estate dealings with Russia. And these aren't like your typical Trump real estate lies, like, of course we installed smoke detectors. No, this lie is way more important because it puts Trump's contact with Russia much closer to him being president, right? In January 2016, Trump was just one of 17 possible morons who could become the GOP nominee. <laughs> but by June, he was the only moron who could become the nominee. And Cohen, you realize Cohen is just the latest Trump associate to be caught lying to investigators, <laughs> right? Which raises the question, if Trump's people aren't trying to cover up any nefarious activities, why does everyone keep lying? Like, why are they all lying? Is there some kind of super innocent secret that they just don't want Robert Mueller to know about? At the end, they're just gonna be like, okay, fine, Mueller, you want the truth? We were all planning a surprise birthday party for you, okay? <laughs> you nosy bastard, here's your cake. Enjoy it, asshole. <laughs> so while candidate Trump was running for president, he was simultaneously trying to make a deal for a new project in Moscow, right? And that sounds like a clear conflict of interest, but if you think it's that simple, you just haven't heard President Trump's explanation. I didn't do the project. I decided not to do the project, so I didn't do it. So we're not talking about doing a project. We're talking about not doing a project. Everybody knew about it. It was written about in newspapers. It was a well-known project. He's a weak person, and what he's trying to do is get a reduced sentence. So he's lying about a project that everybody knew about. Now, here's the thing. Even if he was right, it doesn't matter, because I was allowed to do whatever I wanted during the campaign. Yeah, I didn't do the thing, but if I did the thing, then the thing is, but I didn't do the thing, and I just, well, please don't hit me, mommy, please don't hit me, mommy. <laughs> so according to the president, Cohen is lying, and also not lying. Somehow it's both, yeah. And you know, Trump is the only person whose explanations include every possible outcome, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's like one of those choose-your-own-adventure books. He's like, if I didn't do it, go to page three. But if I did, it was totally okay, go to page five. And if you want to hear about my massive electoral college victory, turn to any page, any page, folks, and I'll tell you about it. <laughs> but the real question is... The real question is... Why deal with Russia at all while you're running for president of the United States? Why not just avoid the conflict altogether? Well, turn to page bullshit to find out. I was running my business while I was campaigning. There was a good chance that I wouldn't have won, in which case I would have gone back into the business, and why should I lose lots of opportunities? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, whoa. Wait, did you hear what he just said? Wait, he said the reason that he didn't stop his business dealings is because he also thought he would lose. <laughs> He just said that. He said there was a good chance that, good chance that I wouldn't have won. Well, that, yeah, I agree with him now. <laughs> no, because before I was, I was like, yeah, I'm against it, but in Trump's defense, I understand why he did it. Like, I would have told him to do the same thing. If in 2016, Trump came up to me and he's like, Trevor, do you think I should shut down my business in case I become president? I'd be like, Donald, there's no danger of that happening, my friend. <laughs> in fact, you should expand, expand. <laughs> Go ahead. But still, man, you have to see how shady this is. You know, I mean, no president in modern history has run for office while also working a side hustle. 
Like, say what you want about Hillary. She had her faults. But one thing we never heard her say was, I'm running to be your president, but in case it doesn't work out, please give me five stars. <laughs>